Hi, my name's Rod, this is Simon. We are co-leaders uh, with Ian at One Church Harrow and we just wanted to share a little bit about our spiritual lives and the way that God normally speaks to us and we connect with him during the week. So Simon, how does, how does that work for you? What does it mean to connect with God? How does you hear his voice? How does he speak to you? Regularly, normally. Yeah, great question. I mean, obviously, God speaks in a number of ways, but time and time again, I come back to Scripture, uh, the Bible, and opening that daily. And what I tend to do is, is I get the passage that sort of been allotted. Of course, you want to work out well, what is it, what's it saying, what does it mean, why is it here. But actually, at a sort of deeper level, you begin to realise that you know there's particular, particular theme, an idea, a phrase, even, and that that sort of gets 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 to you a bit you're like well i wonder what that is and for me that's like a conversation starter with god it's like oh, what's that why, why why is that important and uh, spending a bit of time in that conversation uh, what happens for me is that during the day i find that that theme or that idea or that phrase kind of resonates in a conversation that i have or it nudges me in a particular way and, and i just recognize and that's why kind of actually sometimes noting down some of these things is helpful it's like ah oh, hang on that's what god was saying uh, and and you realize that yeah god's been speaking Way. So that, that's the main way for me. How, how about you? Yeah, I resonate with a lot of that, actually. The, the idea of a conversation starter seems okay. to me to be so important. Uh, so, uh, you know, often throughout the day, I'll mm. notice conversations mm. and, and uh, or phrases that will appear, or just weird coincidences okay. almost. And I think, that's odd. How does that come up again? Mm. And wonder whether God has been saying something. But that will all be rooted in, in Scripture. Mm. Um, and, uh, and I... Uh, love to kind of really kind of pray out the words of scripture. It used to be called biblical meditation, uh, which I think is a bit of a 19th century phrase, but um, it's one that uh, it's a practice uh, that I found really valuable. Uh, and that is that you just read the text and then you pray the words themselves. So you use it as a little bit of a conversation starter or a springboard, if you like, yeah. where uh, you are you know, praying through what you're reading. I really like to use the prayers of Paul, uh, because he teaches me what I really ought to be praying for okay. rather than things that I often end up praying for which can be quite different um, and uh, and just then using that to really fuel uh, my prayer over the time uh, so that's been a, a huge thing uh, for me a little tricky question for you though How, okay. what's he been saying then over the uh, this week say if you're on the spot um, uh, so I uh, this week I met with my circle uh, part of a circle and uh, myself and the guys were looking at Ephesians 3, so the Apostle Paul writing, and actually he's writing uh, about his ministry and the calling, this very specific calling that God has given him, an amazing calling to spread the gospel to people of every nation. And uh, what struck me, and a number of things, was how confident he was in that calling, and he really knew what his purpose was in life. Mm. And actually discerning my calling has been actually a sort of central theme through lockdown, and so God's been continually speaking to me about it. I've been sort of chiseling away at that and trying to work out for this season what it is. And, and as I read that, it sort of all resonated, and I felt really encouraged. It was like God was sort of giving me a bit of a stroke, but a pat on the back about, you know, yeah, that's really important. You know what I've called you here on earth to do. Uh, and interestingly, the, the, one of the things that I feel God's called me to do is actually to release people to their calling. And mm -hmm. I think at this time, there's some uncertainties actually to be affirmed in the fact that actually if we can just give people the freedom and confidence from knowing what God has called them to, then, you know, great, that unlocks a whole load of different things. And so it was just a real encouragement, really, and I really felt God spoke to me through that. Brilliant. Thank you. One practical resource uh, for you. I've discovered a, a new app called Dwell, mm -hmm. uh, which is really simple. It's just an audio Bible app, uh, but there are two features to it which I have really appreciated. One is you get to choose... Uh, the reader. Uh, and so I have the Bible read to me by a guy called Felix. He's African with an incredibly evocative voice. Uh, and you get to choose the background. So you can have some background music uh, playing whilst the Bible's being read. And so I've got ambient kind of in the background. Yep. And it just allows you to really get a sense of the presence of God as you're hearing his word read. Okay. That's super powerful. It allows me to just soak in the word, to dwell quite literally mm. in the scriptures uh, for a long period of time. Okay. So uh, I've been reading uh, long chunks of scripture or having it read to me uh, and really connecting with the Lord in that way. So you might like to try out uh, that particular app. It's called Dwell. 
But I wonder, uh, what is it, uh, what's the normal way that God speaks to you? How do you connect with him? And what is it he's been saying to you this week?